Peace be to you, dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Today we are called to reflect on the Benedictus of Zachariah. The Benedictus was a great, beautiful canticle composed of 18 benedictions full of hope of people of Israel. The canticle starts with the God of Israel, the beautiful word most liked by the people of Israel, the God of Israel. It was written in the atmosphere of Judaism and the hope of people of Israel was infused into the canticle. And the canticle starts with praising God for the mighty works God had done through Jesus Christ. And then it turns its tone towards the theological aspects of future of John the Baptist. And then it comes down to the mission of Jesus Christ, the proclamation of peace by the Messiah. And this canticle, which full of grace, which full of benediction, praises God for having done so much of things to the people of Israel. He had visited his people. He had visited in his horn of salvation to give mercy and strength. He had visited his people to help, to save, to pardon and to show mercy to the people of Israel to all the people of the nations so that they, ha they may have great joy of the Lord. And the canticle turns its mind towards the mission of John the Baptist. The mission of John the Baptist was to give God, to prepare the way of the Lord and to give salvation to the people in the forgiveness of sins. So he will bring people towards the Messiah. He will bring and prepare the people to the feet of the Messiah. That was the duty of John the Baptist and it had been carried out. And it turns beautifully the mission of the Messiah the light now will be coming from the east as a healing wings. It will come from the healing, it will come from the east as a healing wings to heal all those people who sit in the darkness, in the shadow of the death. The light will be shining on those people who were sitting in the darkness and the shadow of death. And the Lord will give them peace. This is the peace of Christmas. The peace is not cessation or absence of hostility, but harmony, well-being, security, prosperity, and the wholeness of God's presence in us. So this was the message. And this is the message that Christmas gives us. When God planned to visit his people, when God had prepared the history and all the people, he was going to give this great peace. The peace of harmony. The peace of well-being to all our brothers and sisters the peace of security to all our nations, security from all the evil things, the Lord was going to be with us and is with us. So let us thank 
the lord the lord is going to come everything is prepared and the god is at hand and the god is at our doorstep and he is going to be born in our hearts in our house in our village in our society let him give the greatest peace peace of prosperity loving people everyone with a great joy especially during the time of this pandemic let the lord throw away all those evil that threaten each one of brothers and sisters may he give us the harmony may he give us the wholeness may he give us the security from all the ailments that is pray heavenly father we thank and praise you for all the gifts you have showered upon us thank you lord for you are very near to us you are at hand you are going to meet us lord thank you lord for this great day with this we are going to celebrate the peace of the lord the peace and joy of the messiah is going to be experienced in our life oh lord lord bless you everyone who need this peace lord who need this harmony well be wholeness and security lord give you everyone who aspires for this peace so that the world may glorify you seeing you as a great test messiah shining all the time in the sky we ask this through christ our lord amen